In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create pitched roofs. Now you can do it in two different ways. If you draw your prospect walls to form a loop, and that means each side is shown with a mitre, it means you can simply right click, hover over the walls and generate. So prospect automates the process for you. Now you simply need to select roof from walls. And this is the same process if you're trying to do uh, flooring, However, we'll create a separate video for that. And now it brings up the hip roof dialogue. Now you can control your roof however you want. Uh, for example, whether or not you want to use degrees or pitch or ratio, what your pitch will be, materials, etc. When you're happy, you just press submit. Now your roofs are parametric, so if you ever change your mind, you can simply right click it, hover over the plus roof, and then select edit roof. When you're back in the dialog, you can change any of its attributes. I'm going to do a very simple change. Let's just change that to that and press submit. However, there are times where you can't use a prospect to make this process faster and, and easier. And this means you're going to actually have to use the SketchUp tools to generate a face. And that's because Prospect doesn't know uh, where or how you want to generate your roof if you're not using the walls to generate it. This is a classic example, and this is a very basic shape. So I'm now going to click the R on my keyboard, the rectangle tool, and I'm able to select my first point and select my second point. And now that I've done that, I've created a face. If I left click it, you'll see that it has a lot of little blue dots. That means I have selected it and now I can click on the roof tool and then go into the second icon which is going to launch the uh, hip roof dialog. And again I can control this however I like. Press submit. In a following tutorial we'll show you how you can edit your roofs to form any kind of pitched roof whether it be you know a gable end, a dutch gable, a jerkin head. Um, whether or not you want to create a mansard roof and so forth. You can do them all and we will demonstrate in a following or subsequent tutorial. In this one it's purely about how you can generate them. Now obviously these are simple shapes however you can therefore use the rectangle tool create the different shapes that you want and once you've created the shape again you can follow the same process. You can also use the circle. Uh, you can use your line tool However, the problem that a lot of new users face when they're trying to use the line tool is they'll accidentally go onto the blue axis when, when drawing. And obviously that's not going to enable you to draw a face. For example, I might think that that's going to draw the face, but as you can see, those lines are not on the same plane. So ensure you follow your green and your red axes. And if you are going on an angle, make sure that the line stays black. Uh, stays black. So again, you can see that's a classic example of making that error. Make sure that when you do click, when you do draw, that your line stay, stays black. I'm going to do all of these at once. You can select multiple faces and they will now be linked. I can click on the roof tool, second icon, open the dialog. Again, I'm not going to change anything here, but you can select the type of roof that you want to create. Uh, create whether it's metal, concrete, terracotta, slate or shingle, whatever. However you want to do it, press submit. And you'll see that uh, these will now be generated.